Welcome in team, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how I practice my putting. Uh, so I've got a couple of drills here, I've got three drills and I'm also going to show you two challenges that you can do uh, playing against yourself or against others at the end. But first things first, I want to say thank you very much to Golf Park Morsedorf here in Bern for letting me practice on their facilities. Putting green itself is about 90 yards long uh, 30 40 yards wide so it's a very big putting green and to put that into perspective I've seen a lot of golf courses around the world are only allowing eight to ten players on the putting green you know just to keep the social distancing we here we allow 35 players on the putting green at one time so it's very very big and I also wanted to say that I had a putting lesson the other day online from a putting guru from the UK Graham Roberts so if you're looking for a putting lesson yourself, I'm going to put his details in the link down below in the description. So make sure you get in touch with him. Maybe he can do an online lesson with you guys, or maybe you can even go and see him yourself if you live in the UK. But yeah, he gave me three things that I need to clean up on. So I've been working hard on those. As you guys already know, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, my hand is a little bit not so good, so I can't actually hit balls. So I'm spending a lot of time on the putting green, which is not a bad thing. I mean, when you think about it, if you shoot 106 or 66, probably 40% of your golf shots are going to be putting. So why don't we practice putting 40% of the time? So I'm going to show you my three drills that I'm doing today. Uh, at each station, I'm probably going to hit uh, between sort of three and six putts. Just go from station to station to station. And I also like to break away and hit 30, 40 footers just to stretch out the legs so I'm not stuck in the same posture for so long. Yeah, with these drills here, it gives you instant feedback. So if you don't have long to practice, maybe you've got 15 or 20 minutes to just practice your putting. So why not practice perfect putting? So it's not practice that makes perfect, it's perfect practice makes perfect. So these drills here give you instant feedback and that's why I love them so much. So I'll show you how, how they work and don't forget to stay tuned because I'll show you a couple of putting drills at the end, a couple of putting challenges. So let's go. Excuse my shadow, but it's a beautiful morning here today. So the first putting gadget on the left is uh, just a mirror from Vizio. So this for me uh, gives me instant feedback on my eye line. So I can, I'm standing over the putt, I can see my eye line. Also got two tees in the front just to make sure that their starting roll is perfect on line. And then my next gadget, uh, the Vizio template. This here, I haven't had it for long, but it's, it's fantastic. It gives you instant feedback, so when you're recording, all the lines on it are face angle and yeah, stroke path. So also got the two tees at the front, just to make it like a gate, so the ball has to roll through that gate perfectly. And a string line, so the string line for me is, it's just for visual really, just to make sure my eye eye line is on the hole and now for my tour stick it's just a training aid that I use to keep my wrists because I have a little problem with a little early extension in my putting stroke so this makes everything a little bit more solid so I just put it down the top of my putter and it goes into my belly button and this allows it to sit square and I can't extend because it will come out my belly button easy but very very useful tool okay so this is the first challenge you get a tour stick put it down center of the hole and you're going to need four tees so you put your putter here right in the center and then either side of your putter you put a tee peg so you're creating a gate and also about halfway down you're going to get your ball and you're going to measure because you want to create another gate for the ball to go through so obviously the tighter you get the harder it is so it's about about there bit of a measure take the tour stick away and the challenge is to roll the ball between the two pegs into the hole 10 times how many times out of 10 can you do it and then obviously the next time you come and practice, try and beat your last score 
or if you've got 10 out of 10, why not see how many you can do out of 15? So here we are with my final drill and my favourite by far, it's called 5 under 5 over so I put the balls out there so you can just see the tee pegs a little bit easier. But every second tee peg is 6 feet and the others are 9 feet so the 6 feet putts are actually par putts and the 9 feet putts are birdie putts so it's you start on one side and you go clockwise or anti-clockwise whatever way you choose you can get a buddy to start on the other side of the circle and do the same but the challenge is 5 under 5 over so if you get to 5 under you're finished but if you get to 5 over you're finished as well so it puts a little bit of pressure on you to you know if you get to three or four under puts a little bit of pressure on you to get to five under and vice versa if you're four over puts a little bit of pressure so you don't miss the next bar part so no gimmies here roll it up there if you missed it tap it in if you make it just move to the next and record your score so this can take anywhere from 15 minutes to you know three hours if you got some ticker so one of my favorite drills i love doing it before a competition uh, i'd normally do it on a little bit of a slope this helps me with uh, the feel of speed so you get uphill putts left to right right to left downhill and everything in between so great drill give it a crack tell me how you do and yeah enjoy it and there we are guys hopefully you enjoyed my drills and my two challenges also forgot to mention in the five under five over do your pre-shot routine line your ball up read the putt make it more like a competition round and that will put more pressure on your putting and we'll see how your putting stroke handles the pressure and it will make it a lot easier when you're out on the golf course under the pump so if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and until next time guys happy golfing and i'm off to do some more practice cheers guys